On this video, we will dive into level one and level two EV charging at home in your garage. A level one charger is the slowest charger for your EV. It can only charge three miles per hour. Is it worth it to upgrade to a level two charger so you could just charge up your car overnight? Let's find out. How's it going guys? My name is Adrian. Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we are gonna talk about level one and level two charging at home. I've had this car for about a year now. One of the first things that I did was to go ahead and install a 240 volt EV level two charger. Now in my case, my dad is an electrical engineer, so he helped me out to upgrade the outlet and it cost me nothing. It cost me literally zero dollars, except for some parts that we picked up at Home Depot to buy the outlet and all the wirings practically cost me less than $60 to upgrade from a 120 volt to a 240 volt level two charger. But for most people, that's not the case. Now I bring this up because could I have gone away with a level one charging or did I really need the level two charger in my garage? And that's kind of one topic that I wanna dive in or talk about in this episode. Because the first thing that you do when you buy an EV is you get the mobile connector. With Tesla in particular, it costs about $250 and they give you this mobile connector which is capable of level one or level two charging depending on what, which outlet you have at home. Uh, for many households in your garage, you have a 120 volt outlet. In order for you to upgrade to a level 2 charger or a 240 volt outlet, most likely you will need to hire an electrician to get it upgraded 120 to 240. That can be costly. As a matter of fact, I got a friend of mine who bought Tesla Model Y six months after I bought my Tesla Model 3. They asked an electrician to give them a quote or estimate how much it would cost to put a 240 volt in their garage. And the electrician quoted them more than $2,000 because they needed to upgrade their panel. It's a little more complicated than they anticipated. So that's a hefty amount of money, $2,000. That's practically your gas savings throughout a year or two from buying a car. They decided to just hold off on installing the level two 240 volt outlet, they just kind of tried out level one charging, which is slowest possible charging that you can have for your EV or your Tesla. It's been about six months now since they bought the car and basically they told me they're very happy with it. They don't really need the level two charger. And it kind of opened up my mind onto like, did I really need this? So let me talk to you about who needs level two charging and who needs the level one charging. In my friend's case, they live in the city. Their daily commute is roughly less than 30 miles per day. You go to work, you run a few errands, you pick up the kids from daycare, you go back home. And if your daily commute really is less than 50 miles per day, if you think about it, the speed of a level one charging, if you plug it while you go to sleep, let's say at 10 o'clock at night, and then you unplug it at eight o'clock in the morning, it will give you roughly 30 to 50 miles of range. And that's while you're sleeping at night. If you just go to work, go to the grocery store, go to daycare, go back home and do the same thing all over the week and simply your regular daily commute is less than 30 miles or 30, 40 or 50 miles even, you really can get away with just having a level one charger because you're replenishing your charge every night by adding 30 to 50 miles as well. If you go to work one way, which is 25 to 30 miles, and then you go back home 30 miles, your daily commute is more than 60 miles plus all the errands that you gotta do after work, you go to the gym, you go to the grocery, you pick up the kids at daycare. That's when I think you need a level two charger. Let's face it, if one were to go to a road trip, if you go to the beach three hours away, or if you go to another state and you go three to six hours away on a road trip, you are bound to hit the supercharger anyway. But in regards to like the daily routine of charging your car, if you live in the city, if your daily commute is really only 30 to 50 miles per day, the answer is yes. Level one charging will do 100% just fine. But if you're the type of person that go on frequent long trips, 
if you travel more than 50 miles per day on a regular basis, then you might want to think about upgrading to a level two charger because it is worth it. So it just depends on your lifestyle. It depends on your daily driving routine on who needs a level one and level two charging. If you live in the country and let's say you live in Texas and everybody knows everything is always far in Texas from point A to point B, then the chances are you're most likely better off installing and upgrading to a level two charger. But let's say you live in Seattle and uh, you live in the city center and all your surroundings and errands are really within a 10 mile radius of the city and your commute is less than 50 miles per day and you charge your car 10 to 12 hours a day. Let's say you charge it when you get home at eight o'clock at night and then you disconnect or unplug it at eight o'clock in the morning, 12 hours of regular level one charging can get you really about 50 to 60 miles. And if your regular commute is a lot less than that, then you got your answers. So for those of you that live in the city, that commute a lot less, that don't do a lot of frequent long trips, level one is totally fine. If you live and travel to work at a farther distance, your daily commute is roughly more than 60 miles and you just do a lot of long frequent trips on your weekends and throughout the week then I say it's worth it to get the level two charger. So that would be it for the day, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick content about level one chargers, who needs the level two or 240 volt chargers. And as always, this is Adrian keeping it real. I wanted to reach out to all my subscribers who have supported me over the past year. The channel has grown incredibly well and that's really with the help of all of you guys. And if you're new to the channel, uh, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I do more contents about EVs, my Tesla journey, my Tesla experience, all the things that comes with it. Until then, my name is Adrian. See you in the next episode. Peace.